Hello, and thank you for joining us. In this brief demo, we will show you how to implement and execute processes within the BrightCloud SDK for content classification and URL reputation, which falls within our suite of WebRoot hosted security services. We are going to look at a comprehensive web data solution that encompasses both content classification and URL reputation data. Content classification provides the category of the URL, for example, shopping, travel, adult, etc. Our ever-growing database currently holds 300 million domains, representing over 8 billion web pages, and provides industry-leading content classification and web reputation data. We consistently have better than a 99% categorization rate and greater than 98% accuracy rate for those categorizations. Web reputation, on the other hand, is purely a risk assessment of the URL. You can think of this like a credit rating. We issue a score called the WebRoot Reputation Index, or WRI, between 1 and 100. The service is capable of processing more than 100,000 lookups per second, and this can be scaled to a much higher rate with configuration changes. This is a command line interface that demonstrates some of the functionality and the interface into the SDK library. This is solely for demonstration purposes. This demo will show the kind of data that can be requested from the Bright Cloud service and implemented into a customer's environment. During a trial of the SDK, customers will be sent an email with all the details they need to download the SDK source code and documentation. The SDK can be integrated to run within Windows, Linux, and similar operating systems, enabled by the included source code. For this demonstration, we will be running it in Windows. This demo will show a simple, feature-based look at the SDK capabilities. In practice, the SDK is directly integrated into the customer product environment. This allows the customer to more seamlessly utilize BrightCloud data within their solution. This is the command line window that customers will see after downloading and installing the SDK components. Here, you can see the nine basic functions, but again, in an actual implementation, all of this would be behind the scenes. To begin, let's look at function one, information on a single URL. As an example, if someone is visiting ESPN.com, this sends a call to the win where it is classified against our database of good, bad, and unknown URLs. The request then brings back data about the URL, and our partner can use this data to create a policy management engine around it. For example, they may choose to allow or block certain categories from being accessible to users. This is the same technology backend that we use for WebRoot Web Security Services. Here's what it looks like behind the scenes. Function 2 processing a file. This function allows the partner to process a large number of URLs all at once, rather than doing a singular lookup. For customers who are trying to verify the data that we provide, this might be a useful tool. File lookup can be used to test an uncategorized list from another product to demonstrate our superior coverage and classification rate. The input file could be a txt file, or any line delimited file, and the output is txt. Again, if this were integrated into an environment, they wouldn't actually see this. The data can also be output into another txt file that will include classification and reputation data. Essentially, function 2 allows you to input files for testing, and function 5 is for outputting data to a file. Function 3, set lookup mode. For customers testing different components of our data, we offer them the option to test with classification only, reputation only, or both. Function 4, display status, allows the admin to see the current status of the databases within their environment that is using the Bright Cloud services. Function 5, as we mentioned under Function 2, this is for outputting data to a TXT file. Function 6, load database from disk. The Bright Cloud service can be implemented with a cloud only, local only, or hybrid of local and cloud database options. This function gives the customer the option to load a local database. During trials, we supply the customer with a 1 million URL database. However, a production implementation will use a much larger list of the 20 million most popular URLs. Function 8, Get Category List. The Bright Cloud service uses 83 unique categories to classify URLs. This function allows admins to see the full list of categories. And that concludes our brief overview of functions that are within the Bright Cloud SDK. The best way to truly understand the capabilities offered is to try it yourself, so we encourage you to take advantage of our free trial. Thank you for watching.